now is the first stage of the installation. Let's assume you have the USB drive ready to uh, install it on your netbook. I have a um, Dell A90 here. Actually, it's exactly the same as the Dell Mini 9, so um, I'm going to use it as a demo. Uh, power up your Mini 9, press 2 to get into the BIOS. Um, make sure you have the USB bio legacy support enabled in order to boot it up from the USB drive. Okay. Other than that, um, everything should be enabled beside the boot time diagnostic screen and also the uh, backup support. I don't need that. Okay. Um, I would like to plug the USB drive in there first and save. Okay, when the system starts again, press 0 to select the boot menu from the USB drive. Alright, select USB storage. Okay, once you hit that, um, the drive will load and it will jump into the installation uh, Mac OS installation screen. Press enter. Okay. All right, it's loading. Okay, once the loading is finished, um, the welcome screen is here. Just click on this. Use in English as the primary language. Okay. And then click on utilities. Select this utilities again. Kind of do the same uh, similar process as um, empty the USB drive which we do it before so for this one I'm going to select the flash module I have a 16 gig SSD here select partition create one partition and I'm going to name it as you click on option select GUID partition table okay and then apply partition Okay, partition complete, and then you can close it. And go back to the installation screen. So click on continue, accept the agreement, and you should see the partition you just created, AWSL. Oh, sorry, A90SL. Uh, if you have a small hard drive, uh, example SSD right here 16 gig um, I suggest you go to customize and uncheck everything just leave the operating system there and drop in the support it takes two, almost 2 gigabyte and check additional font language just basically uncheck everything um, beside the essential system software. Click on OK. And then start the installation process. It will take around 20 minutes to um, half hours. It depends on how fast is your drive. And 
once I click on install, I will skip to the finishing process. Click install. And continue. Okay, it start installing. The uh, installation process complete, it will restart. And I just hit the zero button to go in uh, the boot menu. Okay, um, this is the stage four and I'm going to show you how to make the final process, make the SSD uh, inside the mini night or the computer uh, or the hard disk inside your netbook to become bootable. Okay, so select USB boot. Okay, and then go back to the loader. Okay, once um. It boot into the installation tools again. Um, click on continue. This time, um, you can go to utilities, and actually, we are not going to do do the um, this utility here anymore. And select netbook installer. Select the worm that you wouldn't want to boot up, which is the A90SL that we created before. After you select your bootable worm, um, actually everything should be um, correct here. It's preset. Uh, don't check the show netbook installer files. Uh, don't check the enable hibernation. Don't check this, don't check that. Okay, Just click on install. And it takes around five minutes. And once it's complete, you can just simply remove the USB drive and your system should boot to Mac OS by itself. Okay, when the system restart, you don't need the USB drive anymore. Okay, you can throw it away. The system will start automatically and go into the SS boot from the SSD or boot from the hard drive. All right, the process is complete. Everything should work fine. Uh, for Mini 9 or A90, you may want to go into BIOS to disable the USB legacy support because I see some system will um, affect the sleep process. Once you put them to the sleep, put the computer to sleep, when you try to start out again, it won't work correctly. If you disable the USB legacy support from the BIOS, system should work fine. Welcome. So um, check out my website um, to see more detailed information about how to do it. I will try to put as many in, uh, as detail as possible. The instruction to my website. Okay. Um, check, uh, my website address again is www.alohaeveryone.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.